Let's go. Congrats for making it to the grand finale of our elite long play. On this third mission, we're aiming for beam lasers, a docking computer, and I understand that it plays the Blue Danube waltz as you dock, and to level up to become Ill above average. <clears throat> Okay, I am back from a little break. I'm gonna get us to above average, okay? So we bought computers, so we want to sell those to not an industrial planet. Orisi is rich agricultural. I dare say they would pay good money for computers. Those rodents. Interesting. Okay. Something right here on the crosshairs. Don't crash into me, dude. So I launched my missile and you see E appeared on screen, so he activated his ECM. Now he's shooting at me. Energy bomb. Problem solved. this game and we got some bank we need now is a space station and some people desperate for computers we're still only average you know what's really cool to me is that for 35 years I never played elite and it always kind of bugged me that um, I remember my friend Ali Fractic at school raving about it and me you know like I said, maybe it was too hyped, maybe it was too complex. But I never really got into it. I never knew what the fuss was about. And this is definitely a little tiny little bucket list moment for me. Uh, and maybe for some of you watching to really explore the game and get over that phobia of, of overhyped, over complex uh, space trading. So, hey, thanks for joining me for a little landmark moment in my life. Speaking of land, let's land at this space station. There it is. You enjoying the view? What was it Han Solo said? Don't get cocky. <laughs> Getting a bit cocky here, but it's okay. 10 tons of computers. These guys will pay 90 and we bought them for, what was it, 64 or something? Yes, we're gonna make a killing. So let's sell all of our computers. We now have nearly a thousand credits. Yeah. Equip ship, buy some fuel. So we're very close to being able to afford our extra beam lasers. What's cheap? So furs are cheap. So should we just buy <laughs> tons and tons of furs? Food's also a little cheap. Okay, we can also buy some food. So let's see if we can get five tons of food. Nice. Food and furs. We're still average. I have. Why do I have fuel scoops? Did did we buy them? Maybe I bought fuel scoops by accident. Okay, we've got fuel scoops. So if we destroy a craft and it leaves debris, we can now scoop that up. Uh, we can also get fuel by skimming 
the sun. The sun's coming. First, though, we must save the game. By the way, I should mention, if you're in need of a new Querium H hyperdrive, Zeman Energy Deflection Shield, or Pulse Cannon, or even a Graph Distort Com system, I recommend PCB Way! They're back in full production now, with prototyping in one to three days. Because as we all know, when it comes to launching an energy bomb, PCB stands for Press the Commodore Button! Doesn't it? So we are inching across the galaxy. Who's going to buy furs? Probably a rich industrial planet. I always want to say country. Rich industrial. <laughs> Perfect. It's a dull place, but hey, they've got money. Let's go there. Hyperspacing to Lerolace. Or is it Lerolaki? <laughs> Quick shot two turbo. <laughs> I wonder how applying moisture to those suction pads that boosted our immune systems back in the day, huh? Mm. if this was a ZX Spectrum next we could increase the processor speed and that would make these sections much more tolerable. Actually perhaps I should have played it on the Spectrum. Uh, I did come on a 64 because that's what I owned and that's what I would have played it on. Oh well. Uh, where's the atmosphere? Where's the fun in uh, speeding up a processor to get you through space? It's not like I would have had some kind of hyperspace option. works for me. Okay, so we have that 10 tons of computers and they will buy them for 62. That's cheap. Ah. So this was a pointless trip. I think I had a brain fart. We need to sell it to someone who's agricultural. There you go. <laughs> The planet Lanin is famous for its inhabitants' ancient loathing of sitcoms, but cursed by a killer disease. Sykes 13, unlucky for some. Hyperspacing to Lanin. I wonder if we can buy some linen. Sorry. These lonely days in space are making me a little uh, delirious. Okay. Ooh, big stretch. If your dog stretches and you don't say, ooh, big stretch. Uh, apparently, scientifically, you are some kind of psychopath. I know I read it on Facebook. All right. Computers. A hundred. Okay. So the average price for computers is 84. So we're going to sell each ton for 16 credits profit. Let's just sell it. Sell 10 tons, yes. We have over a thousand credits. Uh, what can we buy? Now I really wanted those beam lasers. So, hey, let's just do it. Shall we? Should we? Or should we keep trading? Let's try it. Where do we want them? I'm gonna go with front. It says a thousand, but it only charged me six hundred. Okay. Works for me. Let's see what we can buy here. So they are agricultural. So food will probably be cheap. 
Yeah, there's two radioactives are cheap. Shh, getting some of that um, dog species interference here. Yeah. Furs are very cheap. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you didn't hear the dog fart. What did you do? What did you do? Come here. <laughs> I've been attacked by a vicious beast. Uh, now, in the game, actually, there's a point where you get offered some, <laughs> you get offered some trebles, which are kind of like the Star Trek tribbles, and apparently they become a bit of a nuisance and overrun the ship and start to cover uh, all of the, the screen. I can point at the screen. <laughs> over there and then you have to fly close to a sun to destroy them um, so this is my version of the trebles of elite but we haven't got there yet let's buy some food they've got 20 tons for sale you want to buy 20 tons of food you want to buy all of it okay 20 okay we've got loads of cash left go park it park it means go in your bed and we're going to buy the rest in furs they have 31 tons. Let's try buying 46, 400. Try 8 tons. And we have one credit left. What about Usul? Mainly industrial. Alright. Take us up. Oh, look, we got different crosshairs now. Nice. Mew, 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 mew. Don't mess with us, guys. Do not mess with us. There it is, the beautiful planet of Usul. We should have upgraded our lasers uh, some time ago if we could have, because this is really making this more enjoyable. Enemy up ahead, let's try the lasers, finally. <laughs> That's the biggest smile I've had in this game. God, I love this game. I really do love this game. What's our status? Still average. Got to get at least to above average on this session. So let me know in the comments while we just float slowly through space here um, whether you'd be interested in me playing some live YouTube gaming sessions of this where you could join in in, in the comments and we can keep ourselves amused on these long haul flights uh, between planets. Uh, if, that, if that's of interest I'm going to be saving this game and we can just continue the session where we left off. But for now we are still average and clean. <laughs> Not a bad thing to be. We are in a real dogfight here, this is great. He's shooting back. He's obviously got some pretty strong shields going there. Coming missile. Did I get the missile too? Let's hope so. That was a good, that was a good fun battle. Let's just do a few evasive maneuvers in case the missile is somewhere I can't see. But that was good. Well, the missile came, got us from behind. Great. Uh, so we've got to be careful of that kind of thing. Now that we are advancing our status. So who are these guys? See if I can get one of them with the missile and the other with the lasers. How about that? Missile for you. That may have been an escape shuttle. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
How about that? Okay. Food and furs. Yes. Furs average price are 56 and they are paying 82. We are about to make a killing. Food, sell, furs, sell. <laughs> yes, we made 300 credits on that. Nice. Equip the ship. Stock up on fuel. So we have 700 and something. We could buy we could buy an ECM system to destroy missiles. We did, we did get hit by that one missile. Extra energy unit. Ooh, this is a good planet to come to. So this planet is tech level nine. Tech level nine has some good technology. Docking computer. That would be lovely. That's really, I got goosebumps thinking about a docking computer. If we could get up to a thousand credits and then come back here, we can get a docking computer to help and I understand that it plays the Blue Danube Waltz as you dock. We've got to try that. So one thing I've noticed is you can't just hop back and forth between the same two planets uh, because the prices, once you've bought something, then the prices go up uh, because they become more scarce. So yeah, they've kind of thought of everything here. So we need to see what's cheap each time where we are. Luxuries are a little cheap. Computers are very cheap. So let's just buy a bunch of their computers. Also, their alloys are very cheap. Computers and alloys it is. <laughs> 78 per ton. So let's buy five tons. And alloys. Let's try and buy five tons of those. I actually buy a few more. Another ton of computers. Cool. So probably selling that stuff to an agricultural planet would be good. So let's try and Zionia. Let's head there. attacking me too, huh? You seem like a missile job. <laughs> Whoops, lucky we saved. Thank you very much. While we are just cruising through space, I should mention the little novella that comes with the game. It's called The Dark Wheel, and it's written by Robert Holdstock. Um, I did actually try to contact Robert Holdstock's website. Unfortunately, he passed away several years ago, but he was quite an accomplished author. Um, and what I had asked them was whether I could have permission to make basically an audiobook video uh, just narrating, reading this novella. Uh, but I haven't heard back and I don't want to risk any kind of copyright things by essentially putting their book online. But this tells the story of a young pilot and his father who are flying through space um, in this universe and their ship suddenly gets attacked and the father pushes the son into the airlock uh, of the, uh, the escape capsule and the son is able to escape and he then sets down the path of trying to discover why his father was uh, so sought after him and why people wanted to kill him and uh, yeah I won't spoil any more of it for you but actually really really well written I mean it reads like a, a proper book um, it's not that thick either 
so you can read it in, in an hour or two. So yeah, that's the Dark Wheel. It definitely helps with the imagination of setting the scene for this whole universe. Seems to be two ships. Wow. <laughs> ah, am I elite yet? Okay, space station's in range. Now, can you imagine being a 12 year old kid in your room playing this? You know, you've maybe up until then, maybe you typed in a few basic programs. Uh, maybe got a hot air balloon flying up the blue basic screen, and then your parents buy you your first game, and it's Elite. And suddenly, your little basic computer is launching you into this universe of exploration and trading and battles. Uh, yeah, I mean. It's not hard to see why it was such a bestseller and why it got those incredible reviews. <sighs> I would it be 12 again. <laughs> Computers, they pay 95 above average. Alloys they pay 38 above average. Let's sell. Uh, sell six tons, sell six tons. We've got 853. Getting closer to that thousand where we can buy the docking computer. I really want that now. I really love this game. Okay. What's cheap? <clears throat> Food is dirt cheap. Hopefully it's not dirt. I mean, if we bought narcotics, we could make a killing. Oh, they don't have any for sale. <laughs> see, crime never pays. Let's just buy a whole ton of food and see if we can double our money. Not a whole ton, more than a ton. Alright, we bought 18 tons of food. Let's try and buy all the textiles as well. Let's buy all the radioactives as well. Not enough space. Okay, got a ton of, uh, ton of money left. Okay, so we need somewhere that's the op opposite of this, so not agricultural. Rich industrial, so what, I wonder if they need some food. They're rich though. Hyperspace to Lerelace. the space station. I was just checking my Patreon messages. Dude, are you really going to fly straight at me? We have food, textiles, and radioactives. Sell everything. Sell, sell, sell. We have 990 credits. We need a thousand to get our docking computer. It's very fabled for the Terrian edible poet. I wonder what happens after you eat it. Presumably going to the toilet will be like poetry. bomb now. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong key for energy bomb. <laughs> Star
starting on me the moment I exit hyperspace, huh? I dare say the game is getting a little harder. <laughs> Let's take it to SBS. for me, cowboy. So he's playing a dangerous game because he's shooting at me while I'm in the jurisdiction of a space station. of luxuries. They will pay 98. Let's sell them. So we're going to buy food and radioactives. Okay, bought everything I can, I think. We have bought from average agricultural, so we want to sell to, let's say, rich industrial. Let's go see the tulip plantations of Marigis. Guys, I just went to status. We are now above average and clean, which means we are on level 5 of 9, which means we're more than halfway towards becoming elite. So for this session, in this video, I have one more ambition. I want to get the docking computer, show that to you guys. Above average. <laughs> I always knew I was above average. Yeah. So we we went from harmless to mostly harmless to poor to average. Now above average. Next up is just competent, dangerous, deadly, and elite. Never thought I'd be so excited to be above average. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Small victories. I feel quite proud of myself now. This is when I crash during docking. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So we have food and liquor. They're paying way above average for food. And, and liquor. Okay. Sell everything we've got. <laughs> we have uh, over a thousand units cash. We can get some fuel. And I then need to just find a planet that has a docking computer for sale, which was tech level 9. <laughs> so exciting. Um, let's find a tech level 9 planet. The flight training manual will tell us. It's a Syncorn Remlock DNA system. It's sophisticated and expensive. Uh, it comes with a Memsom pilot interaction to induce high cram sleep during the maneuver. <laughs> I love that the level of detail in the flight training manual is awesome. 
Okay, is one of you guys tech level 9? Let's find out. Tech level 10? Uh, that means they should have it, right? Okay. Oh, can't wait to get to Bjorla. Make a bit of money, buy a docking computer. And see if we can hear the Blue Danube waltz as we dock. Oh, love this game. Hey, nobody not got time for that. Um, mm hmm. That's how they talk in America. See if they can tell us one. And there it is. Ooh. A mining laser. Does that let you mine asteroids or planets? Anyway, without further ado, let's buy the docking computer. <laughs> Do you want to try it? You ready for this? Sykes 23, my age. Last off. Come right around and initiate the docking sequence. Probably don't even need to be lined up, right? Let's just go all haphazard like this. Docking computer on C, docking computer off P. You ready? C. Okay, <laughs> I've got chills all over. Um, let's just buy a couple of little things that we could trade. Got sixty, got sixty units. And now I'm just going to go dock at a an un. Uh, I can't even speak. Going to dock at a previously unvisited docking uh, <laughs> Coriolis space station, uh, and we'll do the full docking maneuver. And then I think we'll call it a day. So come with me. And we're gonna, <laughs> gonna see what's cheap here, buy a couple of things, and uh, head off to another planet. Oh, this is, I love this. It's such a good game. Machinery is cheap. Let's just buy one ton of machinery. Boom. So, who wants machinery? Probably uh, agricultural. Are and are look like you. Okay, we're heading to Arlo like you. We're gonna have some fun with a docking computer. Uh. Don't start with Sykes, man. Beautiful explosion. So if you've played other versions of Elite, firstly, why are you watching me struggle through mine? But secondly, what's your favorite version? What's the best version? I'm guessing it's probably Amiga or something like that. Hit C now. Okay. Interesting. I'll take the music. It's like I turned on the radio in the ship here. It's, it won't let me steer, even. So if I need to come out, I can press D and then I can steer, right? <laughs> okay.
Okay. Wow. So that is magical, and it's magical because this game has been pretty much uh, silent or music-free. Um, and then there we go. Suddenly, we've got this docking computer. And there we go. Suddenly, we've got this docking computer. <laughs> That's how it gets you, this game. That is how it gets you. My energy ran out. Anyway, we can reload that, but <laughs> that's what I was saying was that is the beauty of the game is it's it really kind of nothing happens for so long and then suddenly you level up and you can afford this thing that turns on this whole other game. And how, by the way, how is that possible? All of that code and music, uh, docking sequences, physics, loaded off 64 kilobytes less than 64 kilobytes of ram into this machine and then i take the tape out and it that is that's why david braben and ian bell are geniuses and went down in history it's not that it was complex or overhyped it's what they managed to squeeze in on a bbc micro model b and a commodore 64 and, and zx spectrum incredible by the way, this planet is known for its hoopy nightlife and ex exotic nightlife. Let's just go there. All right, there she is. Good enough for me. All right. We are docked at Analoku. Our status is clean. We have 58 credits of cash and we are above average on our way to becoming elite. We've got some cool toys too. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. I've definitely realized that it's kind of a no pain, no gain game. You have to go through a little bit of pain and a bit of a learning curve and then you really realize the addictive nature of Elite and why it was so uh, raved about. Uh, nice thing is we still have things to look forward to. There are special missions. So when you get to certain points and you have certain uh, uh, amounts of money and such like, you get offered those trebles that they were called, I think, like the Star Trek tribbles. Um, you'll also get offered special missions to seek and destroy specific craft around specific planets, as I understand it. So if we do play some more, we can come back and uh, experience some of that. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do another episode like this, or if you'd like me to maybe continue this save game in some live videos. We'll do some live YouTube gaming stuff. For now, though, I'm going to <laughs> jettison you in the escape pods and say thanks for watching. Subscribe below and cheerio. Hold tight. Of course, now I didn't save the game. Now I've got to dock. If only we had a docking computer.
Hope my Tesla doesn't do that. Cheerio.